Happy Topsy Turvy Day, Caroline. Happy Topsy Turvy Day, Samuel. Mustard, get your mustard here. Mustard. Charlie, you're selling mustard? Yep, I sell the mustard and the hot dogs are free.
Where's my little Mackie? You and Mac aren't gonna do the uphill roll race, are you, Emily? Sure. Oh, but you'll never get Mac to roll up this hill. He hates rolling. It gets him all dirty. Really? Well, he did a good job of rolling when we practiced. <laughs> oh. Well, you must have given him tons of doggy treats. A few. I thought so. I gave him tummy yummies and belly rubs. <laughs> but then I ran out of tummy yummies, so I just gave him belly rubs. You did? Uh-huh. He's a very talented dog. I know, but... Okay, folks. The uphill roll race will now begin. Okay, rollers. On your mark. Get set. She's not making him do it, Jetta. Mac wants to do it, because Emily Elizabeth's been so nice to him. He's rolling up the hill just because Emily Elizabeth was nice to him? That's right. Watch. Come on, Mac and Emily! You can do it! Just you won! Huh? Great job, Mac! Great job! Maybe I should try that being nice thing. Remember this race, Clifford? <laughs> I didn't explain it to you very well when we were practicing. But I'm sure you can do it if you know what to do, right? <laughs> of course you can. Now, turn around. No, no, no! I... Oh. I'm sorry. I mean, turn over onto your back. Okay, boy? <laughs> Great! Good job, Clifford! Woof! Woof! Now, when Sheriff Lewis says swim, you swim as fast as you can on your back, okay? Woof! 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 Clifford! Oh, I'm sorry. I know you didn't mean to splash me. <laughs> You're a pretty nice dog, Clifford. Swimmers to your mark. Get set. Swim! <laughs> Congratulations, Jetta. You and Clifford make a great team. Thank you. We're both very talented, you know. Congratulations, Jetta. You and Clifford were wonderful. What is that trophy for, Emily Elizabeth? Mac and I won second place. But it's bigger than my first place trophy. Of course, it's Topsy Turvy Day. <laughs> of course, it's Topsy Turvy Day. <laughs> You 
want to hear a speckle story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Magnificent Magnified World. One morning, Speckle helped Darnell look for his lost button. Speckle took out his magnifying glass to help them search through the tall grass. When they looked through the glass, the tiny ants looked as big as Darnell. Speckle and Darnell imagined that they were the same size as the ants. The grass was like a thick forest. was as big as a mountain. And a mile-long caterpillar looked, well, a mile long. Imagining themselves this small, Speckle and Darnell easily found the button they were looking for. So they reached to pick it up, both agreeing that using a little imagination can be big fun. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Charm School. Now, don't forget you promised to mow the lawn today, Horace. Don't worry, dear. I will. You know, my Puff Club party is here tomorrow, and I want every little thing to be perfect. <laughs> it's not the little things you have to worry about, Violet. <laughs> It's the big things. You don't think Clifford would do anything to upset my party, do you? He's always such a good guy. Well, when it comes to that big red pooch, anything can happen. Oh, dear. I can just imagine. Oh, do have a cheese puff. They just out of the oven. Violet, this is the best book club party ever. Everything's perfect. Come back and finish your bath. Oh, my gosh. Dear. You know, Horace, maybe I better have a little talk with Emily. That's a good idea, Violet. You see, Emily Elizabeth, this party is very important to me. Don't worry, Mrs. Bleakman. I'll make sure Clifford is extra special well-behaved that day. You'd never do anything to ruin Mrs. Bleakman's party, would you? I wonder why Mrs. Bleakman thinks I might ruin her party. Emily Elizabeth always tells me I have very good manners. You do have good manners. Thank you, T-Bone. You're welcome, Clifford. Your manners are okay, Clifford, but just plain old manners aren't good enough for a grown-up party. They aren't? No. You have to have fancy manners for that. Lucky for you, I'm an expert at acting fancy. I'd be happy to teach you. Wait a minute. You're not the only one around here who knows how to act fancy. I happen to be an expert on fancy manners, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, guys, don't you know it's bad manners to yell at each other? T's right, Mac. How about if we both teach Clifford fancy manners? Uh, I don't know, guys. Great idea, Cleo. We'll do it together. I don't think I really need to learn how to be fancy. <sighs> Clifford, you don't want to ruin Mrs. Bleakman's party, do you? Well, no. Then just follow us. We'll teach you just how to be. Right. Follow us. I think you're just fine the way you are, Clifford. Thanks, T. But I guess it won't hurt to learn something new. I hope not. Okay, Clifford. The first thing we need to do is teach you how to walk. Huh? But I already know how to walk. <laughs> Fancy walking's different than regular walking. You have to keep your head up high, like this. And you have to keep your tail really straight, like this. Okay, I'll try. How's this? It looks great, Clifford. Straighten your knees. Oh, take smaller steps. Stay up on your toes. And keep your head up. And, and walk. 
Watch where you're going. I think I liked it better the way you used to walk. Yeah, me too. Why do you have tires on Clifford's tail, Mac? We're going to teach him not to wag his tail, T-Bone. Mm-hmm. A wagging tail at a party could knock over a table or break a dish or get fur in the food. I don't think I'd want to go to a party where I couldn't wag my tail. What should I do, guys? T-Bone's going to try and get you to wag your tail, Clifford. But whatever you do, don't. Well, okay. Uh, hey, Clifford, want to play ball? Sure. No, no Clifford. Clifford. Oops, oh, I forgot. Don't wag my tail. <sighs> hey, Clifford, how about a fun game of tag? Don't wag my tail, don't wag my tail, don't wag my tail, don't wag my tail, don't wag my tail. Let's go digging in the sand really deep. Come on, Clifford. Don't wag. You can do it. All right. You did it, Clifford. Great job. I did it? Yes. No. no. <laughs> okay, Cleo, what should we work on next? Gosh, I'm not sure, Mac. There's so much more fancy stuff we need to teach him. I don't know. I think Clifford is just fine. Just the way he is. Oh, there's always room for improvement, T-Bone. I guess that's true. Clifford! Clifford! Stop! Stop! What are you doing? Scratching my ear. You can't scratch at a party. But my ear itches. It doesn't matter. You can't scratch. Okay, I won't scratch. But it sure does itch. And I think it's spreading. Don't do it. Don't scratch. But it itches so much. Can he just scratch a little? No. No. I can't stand it. I have to scratch now. Oh, dear. What if he does that tomorrow during my party, Horace? I warned you, anything can happen with that big red dog around. Oh, 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 oh. Clifford is never going to learn how to act fancy, Cleo. I think you're right, Mac. Poor Clifford. Thanks for trying, guys. But I don't really think it matters if I learn all this fancy stuff. What about Mrs. Bleakman's party tomorrow? I'll just have to try my best to be the best dog I can be and hope everyone likes me just the way I am. Party. Thank you, Violet. Whew. That sun certainly is bright, isn't it? Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea there'd be so much sun today. Well, I hope everyone remembered their sunglasses. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Horace, what am I going to do? Everyone's so uncomfortable with the sun in their eyes. Yeah, look on the bright side, Violet. At least Clifford isn't here. Hello, everyone. Well, look at that. It's Emily Elizabeth and Clifford. It's always nice to see you, Emily Elizabeth. Clifford and I are just on our way to the beach, but we wanted to stop by and say hello. <laughs> That's very nice. Now I'm sure you and Clifford are in a hurry to get to the beach. Excuse me, Violet, but when Clifford sits in that spot, he completely blocks the sun. Do you think we might ask Emily Elizabeth and Clifford to stay with us? We'd love to. If it's okay with you, Mrs. Bleakman. Well... Oh. oh my, the breeze from his tail is wonderful too I'm sure Clifford will be very well behaved, Mrs. Bleakman Well, of course he will He's always such a good dog I would love to have him stay for my party <laughs> Hello, Clifford I brought you some leftover punch from the party. You really saved the day today, Clifford. Thank you. <laughs> I promise you'll be the first one I invite to my next party. Wow. She loved having you at a party, Clifford. Yeah. How come? 
Did you act all fancy like we taught you? Nope, I just acted like me. And just being Clifford is the very best way to be. Clifford and I know it's important to think about the feelings of others. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is be kind. Uh-oh. It looks like Max's special birthday balloon popped. I told him it'd get ruined if he didn't take it inside. I'm gonna go show him. Wait a minute, Cleo. Maybe we can find a nicer way to tell him about it so he won't feel so bad. You're right, Clifford. Hi, Mac. We're really sorry, but your balloon got ruined in the sun. My special balloon? Oh. We all make mistakes sometimes. Even me. <laughs> thanks, Cleo. And thanks for not saying I told you so. You're welcome. Hey, you wanna play tag? Sure. Helping a friend to feel better makes you feel better too. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be kind. Mm -hmm. 